Previously on Ease 9 Monstrum Knox. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, I'm dead. Fuck. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Please. Ah, please. What the fuck? Oh, God. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, I bleed to death. Damn it. Ah. And now back to being the Crimson Lord. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jarabi Therium bringing you another episode of Ease... <laughs> of course we do, Kershaw, but please, let me do my uh, intro, please. Yeah, we last left off, we finally got Kershaw to our party, who turned out to be White Cat. Well, I kind of rolled off. Oh god, I'm gonna fall to my death! Don't worry, Kershaw, you'll be fine. So yeah, we got Kershaw to our party, and she turned out to be White Cat all this time. Which, I'm not really surprised, because they have the same exact voice actor. And I'm betting it's gonna be the same for, like, the other, like, uh, you know, the other monsters and everything. Like, uh... Their voice actors will be a, a big hint as to, like, uh, you know, who their human forms might be. But I'm very curious, like, if Kershaw has, like, a, a human form, and so does Hawk, Raging Bull, and Renegade, who would Doll's human form be? Because she's not a, like, a human at all. She's a doll. Huh, I'm very curious about that part, because, you're like, come on, like, she's a doll. Obviously, he's like, is she a doll, like, in her actual... Like, real form? Like, is she a natural real doll that turned into a mushroom? If that's the case, how- what? Did you turn anything into a mushroom then? Yeah, I'm very curious about how that would work because, like, uh, yeah, this should not be happening at all. Then we did some quests and such, and, uh, now we're going to go into this weirdly, like, named, like, corridor called Cloca Maxima. I have no clue why they even named it that. Like, like what? Like, just, like... One of the, like, construction workers, like, get drunk and decide, Oh, man, Jonathan, what should I call this, like, uh, weird corridor? For the last time, Matthew, don't bother me with this crap. But seriously, Jonathan, I don't know, I, I'm kind of, like, drunk at the moment. Oh, fuck it, fine. Cloak up Maxima, and I'll name it one of my, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of a weird name, but, hey, anyways. Anyways, uh, we're going to go to this corridor, but first, I gotta, like, uh, read up some, on some stuff, because, you know... I think, like, White Cat to, like, a uh, bio, like, uh, update it, and maybe, like, uh, Adults? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So, Grimball support skill. White Cat's boon, level 1. Remove plus temporary null ailments. Oh, okay, so, like, she can remove ailments and allow us to be temporarily, like, uh, immune to them. Okay, developers, I don't know why you, like, wrote it like this, the description of the skill. It's kind of stupid. To be honest, like, fucking... What do you call it? Like acronyms or no, no acronym? No, no, no. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but fucking like shortened versions of a word. That's kind of stupid in my opinion. I don't think anything else is like uh, updated yet. So yeah, no monsters yet. Materials. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't looked at this yet. Charmoli, known for its resilience, the Baldukian breed has yellow blooms and is essentially robust. Okay. Okay. Here's one. Roman occupation of Galia. Despite Baldukian resistance to Roman invasion, it was ultimately breached and annexed at the same at all the same. Social inequity soon widened between Galeans who aided the Empire and those who resisted it. Oh, I see, so like uh Huh. Like I'm I'm know that they're doing a pretty good job with the world building, but as a person who's new to this series, this is not really sticking with me. Like what cause, like, what is, what is the state of the world exactly? Do I have to play the previous games to even understand what the Galeans and Romans even are? I, I know, I understand that the Romans are like an empire and such, and the Galeans are like another faction that like, aided them in like a, an invasion or something? I, I, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused about this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just like thinking too much about this. My fault for not playing the... Ease game before like Mozo Adana. I mean, to be fair, I thought like Ease, like the series was all about adventures and such. I didn't know there was like one like consistent world building, like factions and such. Okay, Kershaw 2, the true identity of White Cat, as Adol now knows. Well, actually, I kind of figured it out before because of her like voice actor, but whatever. After seeing how the shanty town suffered due to her family's minds, she resolved to make amends by distributing her own earnings among them. Carla. After hearing of her deeds in the shanty town, she sternly points out the error in the White Cat's ways, advising the adult tell her to stop deceiving herself and instead forge her own path, step by step. Alright, that's a nice sister. Still don't know why she's designed in a way that makes her important, but whatever. 
the agricultural district, a block of land within the rampart walls reserved for cultivating produce. It ensured a steady supply of food in times of besiegement back in Balduk's fortress, day, fortress days. Tranquil underpass. I don't think I've seen this yet. An underpass across from the agricultural district, reachable by boat. It leads to the shanty town, though it is rarely used and nearly deserted at present. I wonder why. Shanty town, a slum located in the northeast of the city, populated by the outcasts and impoverished. Though the residents seem to be enjoying greater prosperity than usual in recent months. Yeah, that's all thanks to me, White Cat Steeds. A monstrum by the name of the White Cat has been gifting gold, gifting gold coins among the downtrodden shanty town residents suffering under the mine's pollution. But how much does her good faith truly help? Not, not, not much, really. No. It's okay, Kersha. It's okay. You're doing a good job. You're doing great, sweet baby girl. Okay, lock on effect. The strike, yeah, yeah, I know. The more antibiotics you collect, the more medicine you can carry along with you. Okay, break fall. Oh, wait, we're knocked away by an enemy attack. Pressing L1 right as you land will allow you to quickly recover. Yeah, I should try doing that. This is just like uh, tutorials and such. Now, I wasn't able to get like much for like White Cat because like her, her, like, uh, you know, her, like, weapon is. For some reason, it's already maxed out. And I think I might like try to like uh, max out uh, Adol's Goth Sword too. So let me like do that real quick. Ow! I don't know how the fuck you didn't dive and fall damage. All right, uh, let me like uh, get this Gothic Sword plus two, please. And then another Gothic Sword. Thank you. I need more Copper Ore. Wow. And I wonder why she can't like upgrade. Well, I can. That's so strange. Then. Yeah, well, not my problem. I just want to make 100% sure. I got everything, right? From this area. At least the ones I can, anyways. I hope. I hope I got everything. Oh, wait, she's in a different spot. Hello, Suey. These butterflies really are pretty, huh? I just wish I could show my brother, who's probably dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep thinking that he's dead. What? what? The fuck? That's our white cat, but Evelyn today as ever. Man, if only she'd be my sugar cutie for life. Ew! Ew! Uh, Mr. Adol! I know. Just walk away. Kershia, just walk away, okay? Do not talk to any strangers, you hear me? You hear me? Yes, Mr. Adol, I definitely won't talk to strangers, especially after today. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of creepy, to be honest. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Let's, let's continue with the conversation. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You know, this is a whole lot of money to get for, like, almost zero, zero effort. I'm starting to think work might really be for suckers after all. Yeah, work sucks. This might not be my place to say, seeing as I owe her my life. But I fear the White Cat's action may be a poor influence on my grandson. It may be just an assumption, but there's something that tells me that this is the problem for my grandson. Yeah, I know, Oli. I know. Okay. But good luck with that. Jeez, I need to like look at other residents too, just in case. Ah, oh, these assholes too. I forgot to talk to them. Oh my god. What are you? Fuck oh, you, fucking assholes. Bah ha ha ha! Long as I got this, my whole night's wagers are all set to go. Now this is what I call good cheer. Time to grab some pals and have a ball. Fuck you, asshole. Yeah, fuck you. Another day, another generous gift of good old white cat gold. What a gal. All this cash without a second of work. If life's a game, we're winning it, baby. Yeah, sure. Keep talking, you fucking assholes. Keep fucking talking. It's gonna feel so good once I see you run out of money. Because I'm not stealing anything anymore. Aw, that's my precious Kersha. I'm so proud of you, my sweet cinnamon bun. Alright, let's get on to this like weird passageway, shall we? Oh, Adol came out. I guess he's like following me. So, Cloca Maxima. This is a bit weird, isn't it? I wonder why the music's silent. We can scale that wall using my gift. Yep. Is there anything over here? This is a weirdly positioned, like, rubble. Hmm. Waterway, too. There we go. 
Oh, what in the world? Those crabs? We're eating lobster tonight. Cloca Maxima, the city under drain. Follow me there should take us to the prison. Seems we'll have a few tough customers to deal with on the way there, though. Crabs! Mmm! I'm feeling hungry today, Mr. Addle! Will you be alright? Time to see what you got up close. Oh, okay. Time to see what you got up close. I'll try not to let you down, okay? But just be careful, okay? Because if I splatter their blood and everything... Don't worry, my cute little Kershia. Go ahead, do it. Go all out. I'll be cheering you right on the sidelines. Well, actually, I'll be there with you, splattering their blood. But I'll be cheering you on like a good adult should. This will be nothing compared to the Grimwald, at least. That aside, I doubt your sword can do much against a hard-shelled foe like that. But my fists here are a different story. You just leave them to me. Wait, how the fuck is your fist, like, better than my sword? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. I'm a god! So get the fuck back, Mr. Haddle! I told you not to curse, Kersha. Switching ordering allies. Press circle to switch the player character. Switching changes your damage type and skills. Press the, the left button to toggle ally behavior. Allies can be commanded to follow a particular tactical behavior. Offense prioritizes of offense while sticking to the player. Defense. Stop attacking and prioritize evading enemy attacks. I see. Damage types breaking. Each character has their own damage type. Hit an enemy's weakness to deal massive damage. Slash, effective against soft enemies. Strike, effective against armored enemies. Pierce, effective against aerial enemies. Ah, okay, 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 I get it. This is in, like, uh, Lacrimosa of Donna, too. Allied damage types are displayed here. Attack an enemy with their weakness to break them. Breaks inflict massive damage to lower enemy defense. Enemy weaknesses are displayed when locked on. Damage will be reduced while attacking an enemy with the wrong damage type. Yeah, you see. So let's get him! Yeah, change character. Yeah, go slide him! Ow! Ow! I hurt! Okay, I keep fucking up, damn it! Okay, it's L1. I don't know why it's L1. There you go. Ow. Uh, Kersha, you're supposed to be breaking them. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I know it took me a while for some reason. Alright, let's hopefully I don't fuck up again. God, it's really hard to like. Okay. There you go. I do like the fact that, like, the, uh, you, the characters, like, call out, like, certain characters when, like, uh, you go get up against, like, an uh, enemy they're strong against. Yeah. Just don't fall, okay? I won't, curse ya. <laughs> and I do like the fact that, like, uh, your, like, party members, like, go around to, like, collect items, too. That's what I like about the series. Okay, we don't like uh, go on the ground level first. Ah, oh, these fuckers again. I like try out like, dang it! I just keep getting hit. Ow! Ow! Chris is gonna die. Jesus Christ, these crabs! I swear, they're, they're really hurting. We have to like just. There you go. All right. Oh, jeez. All right. These crabs are really, really dangerous. I really shouldn't like uh just uh go all in. What is that? Oh, there. Oh, wood. Give me that wood. Amber lumber.
Man, the music is good right now. Whew. I love it. Oh, no. Ah. I shouldn't have jumped down there. Alright, so there should be an, a pathway up there. So I have to, like, uh, go up here. There we go. Dead. Nothing here. Ooh. Alright, a box. Nothing. Yeah, it feels good to have, like, a party member here. I just love, like, fighting with people. It's so fun. More copper. Oh, it's a treasure box up here, I think. I can't get up there. Okay, I think I have a way. There you go. White nut. Mmm, nuts. Okay, is this the way to go, I think? I think it's the way to go. Okay, there are, like, 16 chests here. But I've already, like, explored almost half. Just want to make sure I got everything. Well, let me just keep goes away. There we go. It's like crab again. Ow. It's a fucking crab, I swear. There we go. Okay, so it should be up this way, right? Seems like it. Let me see. Okay, maybe this uh, thing. Nope. Alright, I got it. Yes, I can, Kirsha. Yes, I can. Okay. This is going to be a tricky one. But I think we can get to it. Come on. Oh, just go that way. There you go. Black fig. Ah, dang it. I missed it. Come on. I really hate how the skills are like set to that. Like, come on. There we go. Star Grimoire. Ooh, what does that do? Where is it? Where is it? Star Quimbar. Learn skill. Contains a technique of an ancient hero. Read it to teach White Cat a skill. Yes, please. Shooting Star. What does that do? Shooting Star. Launch like a shooting star into a full floor's flying kick. Ooh. I'm gonna kick you! Right in the balls! Trisha, do I need to bonk you? No, Mr. Adol! Good. Now please stop being vulgar. Okay, it's a crimson line here. Seems like I gotta like use Crimson Line. Or I can just go down here. I will I'll go down. Kill them all. Ow. Dead. Now is that like there's something across here? Why would they let us like do Crimson Line twice when there's nothing here? What the fuck? It's pointless. Game more logs. 
lots of logs. And I'm thinking there's a like boss battle ahead. Let's take a break. Yep, there is. Okay, uh, did I get everything in the area? That's weird. It's like, uh, there's like more chests. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, I'll deal with that then. Hey, let's see what this boss is all about. Remember, I can't pause, right? Yeah, I can't pause. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that a scorpion fish? Clemati, seething piercing beast. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ow. Ow. Oh god. Ah, jeez, circle button. I feel like it should be like different for like the uh, buttons to be different. Oh, let's check out this like Billy. Out, out. Oh, jeez. All right, let's try this out. I want to like finish him off with a skill. Oh, did it? No! Switching out stops it. Oh, that is that sucks. I was playing like use your skill. Shadow mantle acquired. All right, I gotta fix this. Sacramentals. Con consecrated tools with party-wide effects. Select sacramentals on the main menu to equip them. Select sacramentals on the main menu, choose a slot, and then equip them. Don't forget to equip the sacramentals you find in your adventures. As your journey progress, you may acquire special books that increase the number of sacramentals you can equip at once. It's neat. So what does this do? Idle anywhere to heal. A cape that shrouds you in darkness, allowing you to collect yourself in any situation. Ooh, nice. That means I don't have to waste time healing. Ugh, oh, okay. I gotta fix this real quick, because this has been really annoying me. So, uh, can I, can I please, like, fix this? There's gotta be a way to fix this. Because evade is, like, what, what is circle? Change. Okay, let me think. Alright, give me one moment. I need to, like, uh, fix the, uh, controls, because having the change be on a circle is a bad idea. Because I want to use my skills. So I think I'll have, like, a B at a R1. And, uh, hmm. Flash Guard is an R1. Evade is an L1. Actually, no. Have change being on R3. That should be good. We said cameras that way, too, but, hmm. I don't need to do anything with, like, click L1, right? Nope. Okay, so that's a free one. So, uh, I'll do that. Have the reset camera be L1 instead. That should be perfect. Use status curative. Assign a button to use status curative command. What does that do? Actually, let me use like L1 to like uh, test things out. Because for some reason, like, uh, it's not mapped to everything for some reason. Curative line. Then it seems to be happening. Oh well, it's not really that important. Just use it on the reset camera. Alright, that's much better. Now I don't have to worry about, like, using, like, like, switching while I'm, like, button mashing the skills. Okay, it's like, uh, pathways up there I can get to. I think, at least I think. Oh, fuck. Did not know that would happen. There you go. Actually, uh, let me check the bottom area first. Huh, Sweet Remedy times three. There's something here. There you go. A lot of lumber. And copper, too. Okay. 
Okay, it seems like there's something this way, so I'm just gonna go the other way. There's a chest down here. There it is. I think. I might have gone the wrong way. Here it is. Two razor claws. There we go. Uh, what else? There's another path this way. Die! Out of my way! Okay, doesn't seem like anything down there. Must be up here. There it is. I think. Oh, th up there. Found ya! Blade ring. Ooh, what does that do? Strength plus 10. Ugh. That's worthless. What the fuck? I just bought one for curse. Like, God dang it. Whatever. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Okay, so another chest over there, too. So you need to figure out how to get over there, too. So that's the way to go. So I'm going to go the entirely different way. There's also like a question mark over there, too. Oh, a box. An ore of something. Hmm, nothing this way. Okay, so... How do I get to that treasure chest now? Seems to be some kind of elaborate trick here. I'll have to figure that out later, then. What is this question mark over here? Examine spot. New location discovered. Oh! What is it? Stream of soothing light. What a lovely sight. Look at the butterflies! And the flowers! Ah, it feels so good. Can I sniff them? Oh, what the fuck? You killed them! Sorry, Kershaw, bud. I have to get the materials. But the saddle! They were beautiful! Why? You'll understand, Kershaw. You'll understand one day. Maybe. I don't, okay, actually, I'm not gonna tell her. Rise, potion! Rise! Finally. Another healing... Actually, no. It's another, like, uh... What's it called? Revive potion. Of course. I'm professional, guys. I'm professional. Okay, now how do I get this treasure chest over here? I know there's a treasure chest here. How do I get over to it? It's like... Yeah, over there. These fuckers. I can't get to it. Unless I do some elaborate trick here. Uh, let's see. Let me go up here again for a bit. It's gotta be a way. It's gotta be a way. Ooh. Or. Nice. I almost missed these. There's another one over there, too. I have no clue how to get to that chest. Must be a way. There must be. Maybe there's another way. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out later. Oh, wait. Oh, God dang it! No! They're fucking... Okay. An adventure? I'm sorry. They're, they're literally doing that stuff where, like, they keep going despite... What? Why autoplay? Come on! Though, come to think of it, I've heard customers mention Adol the Red before. That must be how Carla knew so much about you. She's been looking out for me ever since we were kids, you know? She'd help me with school, teach me how to cook, play with me whatever I wanted, splatter blood all over the fucking Kersha. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. But ever since I started helping out at the store. You still love her, don't you? You're in love with your sister. Oh, man, incest is Winsets, am I right, Kersha? No, it's not like that, Mr. Addo. Well, okay, I kind of deal with a fucker, but it's not like that. Don't you want to be a merchant? Don't you want to be a merchant? Well, it's not like you hate the company or anything. It's just... I want to fuck her! I'm sorry, I know it's just history love, but come on, let me have fun. Some people would just probably say I'm not all suited for the job. At Puddleton, the bottom line is always number one. I get why that's the case, but... I want to work at a place where people smile because they mean it. Same goes to the customers, too, of course. But I think the best employee is a happy one. Why not change the company from within? 
Why don't you open your own shop? Yeah, why not just open your own shop? In that case... Huh? Me? I, I don't know. I could never just... I don't know, guys. It sucks, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Having a job sucks. Advanced tactics. Try these out once you've gotten used to combat. Flash move. Activate by pressing L1 at the right moment to attack if an enemy attack. Yeah, I know, game. Grants temporary invisibility and increased mobility. Oh, I see. Flash guard. Activate by pressing R1 to block an enemy right as it connects. Fails to boost gauge and briefly makes all attacks critical hits. Uh, yeah, I really want to try that one. Get out the chip, get out the stairs. You die. Yeah, I need to get used to like the uh, switch changes. You know, like I need to, like get just get used to this whole thing. I think there's something here. There's one down there. Can I go down there? I think I can. There it is. There you go. Oh, another one. There's a lot of enemies down here. For some reason. Okay, I need to find a way back up. Ow, jeez. How do I get back up now? Oh, it's Crimson Line, isn't it? Where is it? There it is. There's some chests over there, too. How do I get over there? Ah, of course. Three hundred gold. Now, so it's gotta be way down to that chest. Hmm. Yeah, bars are all around it, too. Can I just break them? Of course I can't! I can't break the bars despite being a powerful being! Of course, it makes total sense! Hmm. How do I get that chest? Oh! Let's see up there or something. Yeah, up there, somehow. Ow. Jeez! Keep falling in the water! Alright, let's keep going then. There you go. Dead and dead. Ah, of course, it's down there. Marl flower times two. Another box. More of those flower things. Gotcha! I don't know how I managed to pull it off, but I did. Dead. Alright, let me try this one. Now do this. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. She just does the somersault and everything. Kinda wish it like went a little bit farther, but I'll take what I can get. Ow. Alright, these guys are becoming less of a problem now. Okay, what ceiling? Oh, that ceiling. There's likely something not there, too. I just gotta deal with these enemies. Ah, dang it! Come on. 
Oh, Akuma just like crimson lines these guys. Such an idiot. Man, this place is really expansive. Probably the developer's apology for like not giving us enough like long enough levels. I don't mind developers, I don't mind. Hmm. Oh, and no more stuff. Ah, uh, lumber there. Give me that lumber. Oh, so much ore. I almost missed it too. Okay, there's a chest here, but it doesn't seem to be any near here. Is it top? Must be. Looks like it. I can't crimson line up there. Ooh, it's a chest here too. Copper ore. Alright, let me head up here. There we go. No, but I don't see anything. Hmm. Ooh, chest. Panacea. Now, how do I get to this other chest here? It's like there is a chest here! It has to be up here somewhere. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Did you see something? No, it's just lantern. But it doesn't seem to be connected to this place at all. Hmm. There's gotta be way there a chest. It's gotta be. This is below. I think it is. Let me check. Uh, at least I think it is. Nope, none here. Ugh! The water of this place is annoying! Raisins. Two black figs. Let's take a break. Another freaking boss battle. Still need to figure out how to get to the thing. Like that other chest up there. It's got to be a way. Well, it's like it's behind this statue. It's got to be a way up there. It's got to be. It's got to be a hint somewhere. Oh, wait. I see some. Ah, there it is. Clever. Very clever. Just don't fall, okay? A treasure chest. Gotcha. Warrior seal. Whatever that does. Skill EXP gain plus one. The engraving denotes a true brave warrior. Increases skill EXP gain by one. Not worth it. Alright, now let's head back to that spot. Now that I think about it, what are these things? Platforms. They seem to be really out of place for some reason. No, well, not my problem. Does it automatically save when I go through this thing? I don't think so. Okay. Alright, what kind of boss battle will this be? Another monster? I guess. What the fuck is that? Is that a Taurus? Taurus demon. Dragia Haman. Draconic Sledge Magnus. What the fuck? Oh gosh. There's dark balls and everything. Alright, time to die. Oh god, has a lot of health. The 
Okay, it's really easy to like dodge the attacks and everything. Like, seriously, it's really like easy to do this. Yeah, he's weak now. I'm just hitting him hard. Ow. Oh! Ow. Be a defensive. Kersha, please don't die! I don't know what the fuck this thing's doing! Oh gosh! Ah! I'm gonna die! Oh gosh! Approach heal! Now he's getting a little bit more serious. Oh, but he's weak! Ow. It's very easy to, like, uh... To, like, yeah! Flash guard these! Alright. Hit them hard! Almost dead. And dead. Dead, 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 dead. Huh, that wasn't too bad. We managed to beat it. Wow, with like flash guard and flash step cheese bullshit. How the fuck did we manage to do all that stuff? I don't know, Kershaw. We just got lucky. I've never seen the monsters down here before. Well, that's not a Lemure? Ah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. There's a Lemure in the real world. That's what I want to know. None of you know about this? Wait, none of you know about this? Yeah, we're kind of like, kind of confused about this ourselves, okay? But it just makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I'm pretty much used to that, Kersha. At this point, anyways. Who Wait, that's how you pronounce it? Lemuries? What a weird name to pronounce it. Come on, Mr. Adam. It's not weirder than the way you pronounce them. Nah, screw that. Lemures sound a lot cooler than Lemures. Okay, let me like, find out about this like monster we fought. And also, the monsters we fought here as well. Anxi gas. Wait, didn't I just see this one before? Oh, in the Cloak of Maxima. Okay. Pluto, yeah. Akuhani. A massive species of crab that is a tough outer shell. Their tenacious claws and foamy bubble breath prove instrumental in quartering its victims. Yeah, I know. It's fucking hard to beat for some reason. That is until I managed to spam with her. Okay. Uh, bosses. Glamandi. An indigenous beast with abnormally developed claws and fangs. It bounds about the battlefield, rapidly shredding its victims to pieces. And a Dragia Hama. An archaic monster wielding a gigantic mallet. It possesses a wide repertoire of techniques using its overwhelming strength to pulverize all who appear before it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm betting it is the case that they have some kind of Lemire inside the, maybe the prison? Probably. Okay, nothing new yet. So let's just keep going. Huh, there's a gate here. Can't go through it for some reason. Wait a minute! Oh, wait, wait a minute. Is this the same passageway I used to get out of here? There's no way! Wait a minute! Huh! Okay, wait a minute. This has gotta be the same passageway that I came, that I escaped the prison from with. It has to be, right? 
I can't go out this way. But I can't... Oh, maybe maybe it is? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to check back. Where are we now? It looks like we're out of the waterway at least, but... This place looks familiar. It appears to be the same cell block of the prison you were locked up in before. Still doing okay? We made it into the prison. We did? Really? I, I thought we were going to die before we even got here. Or like something in the plot prevents us from even reaching this place that, you know, requires us to get more people into the party. Ah, that's pretty strange. Yeah, I know. It is pretty bananas to be honest. Like, developers, what the fuck are you up to? We did? So they really were connected? Knowing where we are is actually making me a bit nervous, though. What's the plan from here? I don't know. Probably smoke some weed. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. Yeah, I can. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, they're making it seem like, uh, you know, like, this guy might be the mastermind or something. There's no fucking way he's the mastermind. I was just like, the developers are playing to mind fucking us this game. Let's find the cell I was held in. We should investigate the area first. Let's find the cell I was held in. We probably should save the old dude. And potentially the mastermind behind this whole game, somehow. Got it! Lead the way then, Adol! Let's hope you'll die! Try to do this stupid shit! Yeah, I know. We probably will die. Okay, let's get a move on then. Nothing else in here. Um, how? How? What the fuck? Our gifts? What the? You've been spotted? What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fuck? How do I get past them? Oh, okay. I was like, wait. What gifts? Oh, there it is. I have to do it this way then. Sneak on past. I guess I'll like uh go this way. Seems like it. Seems to be a way to go. What about another way? Hmm, seems to be the way to go. Alright then. Hmm. They're gonna start moving, aren't they? No, they just stand in one spot. For some reason. There's a door here. Dorm is firmly shut. It's a cell block here. Okay, where's the, uh, there it is. Kershaw, you're gonna fuck me over. Okay, there he is, but... Can't go to the other spots, too. Oh, what? There's another dude here. Alright, there's another dude there. I did not see him. Is that really the only spot I could do it in? Can I, can I please... Alright, well, I shouldn't play around too much. I might as well just, like, use my gifts. Where is it? Here it is. So, is this another dude there? I didn't see him. No. Huh. Alright, well, let's just talk to the dude. Oh? Well, those aren't outfits you see every day. It looks kind of anime-ish. I take it you're not from around here. You wouldn't happen to be those mushrooms everyone's been talking about. Um, Crimson King? Who is this man? You're the same as ever. Thanks again for the fork, dude. Oh, don't tell me.
Well now, I never would have guessed. That was nothing short of astounding. Almost like magic. Yeah, it probably is magic. Uh, are you sure this is okay? Reveal your true identity? He's probably the mastermind, you know? I'm sorry, okay? I, I keep making the joke, but it's all Doggy's fault, okay? It would seem the trick is on the other foot this time around. Exactly what happened after you broke out? Or have you already possessed his power? You will lay the entire story of how things have played out to inmate 212 in full detail. Wow, you got shot in the chest by a magic bullet and somehow didn't die? Yeah, I know, it makes no fucking sense, and it happened to Kersha too, right Kersha? Yeah, I know, kind of hurt a lot! I see, I see. Battle, was it? You must be that adventurer the guards keep gossiping about. Allow me to introduce myself in turn. My name is Parks. Glad to see you're doing well. Revealing your name at last, huh? Glad to see Glad to see you're doing well. Ah, oh, well, as one can do locked up in a cell, I suppose. I'm surprised you returned to the prison at all, much less to investigate it. But let me tell you now that getting a full picture of this place will be far from easy. Well, what makes you say that? Just getting here was hard enough already. This prison's interior features a complex layout of securely locked sectors. Even the guards themselves have difficulty traversing traveling between them. For some reason. With that in mind, I can only imagine how much harder it would be for you. Hey, what should we do now? As you may know, Baldu Prison once operated as a fortress. There may yet remain a good many escape roads to the outside owing to that. If I were to guess, that underground passage you snuck in from was one such route. So you mean we'd have to fight those other ones to try to sneak in again? Wait, what? Why? It would appear so- Why? Why? It's not like the guards found it or anything. Sounds like fun. That won't be easy. Like, why the fuck would that even be a thing? We just, we know the passage, passage exists. Unless the guards know about it and seal it up after we used it, there's no way it shouldn't be possible for us to come back the same way. What the fuck, game? What the fuck? Alright, that won't be easy. Sounds like fun. That, that, was, that, that won't be easy. Or convenient. Why do you look so happy about that? Haha, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't expect any less from a self-proclaimed adventurer. Um, Parks, right? Do you have some sort of agenda here in the prison too? Are you the mastermind this entire plot? Will you stop calling me that, please? It's just, well, you seem to have gathered a fair bit of information. It's kind of making you look suspicious. Well, no. Aren't you a prospective one, miss? Miss Kersha. Kersha Pendleton. Ah, from the company. You have a different air around you for the rest of your family. Even more so if you're colluding with an escaped felon in a place like this. Well, that's because, uh... No need to be nervous. You're doing this because you have to, no? You're here on no one's accord but your own. I can see it in your eyes. Yes, that's right! The same goes for me. I came to this prison seeking the whereabouts of a friend. You did? Who is it you're looking for? Is that why you got arrested? Who is it you're looking for? A young man whom I have been unable to get a hold of for quite some time now. This is the last place he should be, but I'd heard reports stating as much nevertheless. I couldn't understand how or why. There's no crime he could be guilty of, after all. Have you managed to find him yet? No, he's dead. In a sense, apparently he's being held in a different sector. But I'm afraid I'm at my limit as far as investigating this place goes. Well, I can find him for you. Why don't you break out with us? Why don't you work with us then? Yeah, why don't you work with us then? Work with you? The Monstrums? It certainly sounds preferable to breaking out of here on my own. But are you sure about this? I don't have powers like the two of you. You make up with it in reliability. We all have our roles to play. You make up for it in reliability. Well, up until maybe the end of the story where you betray us. 
<laughs> I suppose that's about as much as I can hope for. I hope I can right portray you and kill you. Wait, what? What? Very well then. I suppose this isn't the first time you've bailed me out, as if were. Can I count on the two of you to escort me out of this prison? Of course! Better be a bullshit escort, Mr. I swear to God! Oh, I definitely will be. I definitely will be. I'll be useless too. Yeah, fuck you! Wow, you can break locks now? Just like that? Yep, the power of protagonist powers. No forks required anymore, it seems. Now then, lead the way, you two. It's time I took a stand myself. What? You ain't gonna do anything, are you, Kersha? Nope! No, no, no! Isn't that sound? It's the warning bell. Seems like they've caught on to our little scheme. Yeah, great. There they are! Wait, you're the White Cat and the Crimson King. How did the monsters manage to break in? We gotta take care of them before we slip into the waterway. Let's go, Crimson King! Let's splatter their blood! Yes, let's splatter their blood! All over the fucking place! See ya, then you cursed, Mr. Hatto! I'm proud of you, Kersha. I'm so proud of you! Alright, let's go. I see, can I go back in? Never mind then. Ugh! Two. Strong! Why are the monsters helping a prisoner escape? Come on! Now's a chance! Let's go! Adol and Kershaw managed to shake off the pursuing guards soon after. Then they proceeded to escort Parks over to the entrance of Cloca Maxima. After safely making their escape, the three headed back to their base at the main gates. Looks like the Crimson King and the White Cat snuck into the prison. The Crimson King, huh? He's that new mushroom that showed up, right? Mmm, so hot, I wanna fuck him! Okay, Glee, calm down. I guess this means they really are in the cahoots after all. Everyone. Oh yeah, that precious, precocious girl. Everyone's always talking about how cool he looks. I wouldn't mind meeting him sometime. All of that aside, the fact of the matter is that they're breaking inmates out of the prison. What an awful sprite! Who knows what kind of criminals those monsters are freeing? Just what is the fuck? Yeah, of course! That man might be the best of my mom. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, I keep making this joke, I can't stop! Just what is the Roman garrison doing about all this I mean, anyway? Hmm, as usual, the Hieroglyph Knights are the only ones we can depend on. Master Chitlard, Chitlard? I don't know, would have rounded up those monsters all at once. Makes you wonder why the knights aren't in charge of guarding the city instead. Probably because they're experimenting on people. I see. So that's what happened in the prison. Holy shit, dude. Anyhow, take a look at all this. I get that it makes it less conspicuous for us to be coming and going with people here. But I'm not especially excited about the whole hiding in plain sight idea. <laughs> a bar. I might play the part of a quiet old man, but that Parks, hmm, gets the job done. I'm glad he's so reliable. He's definitely not your average guy, he's probably the- <laughs> Okay, I stop. Yeah. <laughs> you think? There must be more to him than he's letting on. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm sorry guys, this is like, starting to get to me now. Is this like, just like some kind of giant red herring, like, like, giant red flag? Is he- there's no way, like, that old man can possibly be the final, like, the, the, the main bad guy. There's no way. Like, the game is, like, giving me a lot of, like, red flags here. It will make it easier to gather information from the booze hounds. I'm just sorry, you just can't get it off my mind! <laughs> Nonsense. I couldn't have done it alone. Carla from Pimbleton was of great help. And that was thanks to you, Adam. That reminds me, Carla mentioned she knew trustworthy people who could staff the bar. Is that so? I wonder who they are. 
I remember right, the bar manager was some guy. He should be here soon. My word! Look at how gorgeous this place is! Uh, what? Wow, it really is! Oh, oh my goodness. Is that Iva's voice actor? Is that Red, like, Raging Bull? I think it is. Who the fuck are you? And a doll you certainly are. You're even cuter than I thought. Okay, okay. Back the fuck up, dude. A doll? Oh, Dogey. Of course I can't forget about you. Those biceps are quite simply. What the fuck is up with this dude? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh, is this dude okay? Ah, I'm sorry about him, he's kinda gay! Kinda gay? He's more like full on gay! Oh, um, uh, th thanks, I guess. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Shantae. From here on, I will be your lovely bar manager. What <laughs> the f? Something else. <laughs> Maybe he's just what we need. Oh my god. And I'm Yufa. I'll be your hostess. Is that Iba's voice actor? You got big tits, so that's like obviously a big like signal that you're Raging Bull. I can't wait to start working with everyone. I think it's Raging Bull. I can't tell. Manager, I wish to discuss the first order of business. All of you get naked for me. One, a bar wouldn't be a bar at all. Uh, what's that? My dear Adol, why don't you take a guess? Oh my god, no, please no. It's got to have food, right? A bar's got to have alcohol. Okay. Give up? The answer is simple. What the bar needs is a proper name. Ah, oh, I see. Mm, you're right, Shantae. The name is important. Don't worry. I picked out a perfect name just for you, Adol Darling. Okay, first off, don't call me that again or else I'll kill you. Ready for this? I hope it's not something inappropriate. I heard you travel quite a bit, Adol. Yes. But because of your predicament, you're no longer able to do so. Yeah. Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this, dude? You're a flower capable of planting your roots anywhere, no matter how barren or harsh. All right, you're pushing it, dude. When spring arrives, a cute, robust yellow flower will bloom. Soon after, it becomes a fluffy cloud of what? <laughs> what is this dude's voice actor? Like, little C, what the, what is that kind of, like, what the fuck? You, my dear Adol, are a dandelion. And that's what this bar shall be called. Alright, can I kill this dude? <laughs> what the? I'm sorry, this is, this is kind of funny. Please don't wake at me. Yeah, that is Iba's voice actor. That has got to be Raging Bull. You see, I was confident they'd be great. They're perfect for the job. Perfect? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, I have to say, I was skeptical, but I think we'll be just fine. And suddenly the dude starts getting naked. Alrighty, Adol Doll, please get naked for me. Oh yeah. Please, no. Get the fuck back. <laughs> God. And I'm glad that you're happy, specifically, Adol. Please, just shut up, please. By the way, Adol, darling, I have a message for you from Carla. Yeah. Sort of guy, if you leave my party, Carla. 
I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna scold you. Oh, little petite first wrist. Aww. Oh, hello, Adam. Do you need any help? What are you up to? I. Um. I guess there's no use hiding it. The truth is, we've always wanted to open a flower shop. Oh, they're so precious! <laughs> Did something happen? Why a flower shop? Ah, that's a spirit, Kersha. You are such an adorable sentiment, but I'm sorry. I like Kersha a lot. She's she's so precious. It take that takes a lot of courage. You're not afraid of the hard work. That takes a lot of courage. Thanks. I built the shop and picked these flowers all by myself. I wanted to give it a personal touch. <laughs> and best of all, I can consult for my own business free of charge. Color me impressed. I I support your decision. Color me impressed. Oh, it's nothing to be impressed about. Nah, you're doing amazing, baby girl. Come on, look. Let me take a picture of you. Before that, I'm gonna. Everything I did was a result of a decision someone else made for me. But you're different, Adam. You travel on a road to your own destination, and if a road doesn't exist, you make one. That's what adventurers do. It's not as cool as you're describing. That's what adventurers do. Yes. I think you've inspired me to be brave. Like you, Adolf. Look, they're building something new here. Are you opening a shop here? Y yes, ma'am. It'll be open for business very soon. I hope you'll all have a chance to visit. What kind of shop is it gonna be? It's already a lovely sight for sore eyes in this dreary part of town. Ah, she's really quickly growing on me. Oh, hey, Carla. Thank you for doing this, Adam. It seems this is just what she needed to finally take that first step. She's a smart girl with so much potential, but she's too kind for a place like Pendleton. The company's success is driven by sheer capital and steep profit margins. There's no need for her to be forced into that kind of environment. You really love your sister. You're right, she doesn't belong there. You really love your sister. It's merely a pragmatic observation. Nah, you really do love her. It says it's with us, am I right? And then Carla just like slaps the shit out of Adol. Despite her gentle nature and the fact that she's adopted, we're actually quite similar. Oh, she's adopted? Kersha was adopted? You're not blood related? Oh, oh, you, you're not blood related. So all those jokes about, I said about incest is po possible. Shut the fuck out, Adol. And then like she just like slaps the shit out of Adol and just like curve stomps him. <laughs> Kersha was adopted? Aww, little Kershaw was abandoned by her parents. It's sad. What will you do now? Thank you for helping the dandelion. And what will you do now? It's business as usual for me. Father depends on my work at Pendleton. It's my duty as his eldest to inherit the family business, after all. Uh... Prillis is there. Interesting. So this is the adventurer Adolf Chris is. Hey, 
bitch! You still owe me for shooting me in the chest with a bullet! Go do edgy shit again? Like that last time? The generous white cat could hardly be seen again in the shanty town. Naturally, some of the residents expressed their resentment towards her, but the positivity of a single voice resonated over them. That voice belonged to Kershaw, cheerfully ad advertising the day's freshest arrangements. This was the first budding flower of many more to come in the shanty town. Meanwhile, the what? Hello. Ooh, something shiny. Who the fuck is this? My head's killing me. How long have I been out for? Wait, what? Wait, is this Adol? I'm sorry. What? Looks like I'm in a prison cell. It's so quiet in here. What? I should take a look around? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? is going on is this wait a minute what 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 okay time to i am so confused is is this the real adol that what about the adol that's been out there is he a Oh, wait. Wait. Doki said Ada was different somehow. Wait a minute. I'm I'm just so confused. I'm confused. Wait a minute. What is happening? What the f Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't understand at all. This is This is what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Alright. I gotta calm down. I gotta just take a chill pill, calm down, and just think about this. I... Uh, is this the adult that came in? I think it is. But... Uh... I have just so many questions. There's so many questions. I'm sorry, guys, but that's like a perfect time to end this like, episode off. Like, on a major, major, like, bomb drop. Like, what the fuck? Are there two adults? But why would there be two adults? And if that's the case, then what about the other monstrums? Wait, wait, is it just the prison then? Somehow, like, was something done to Adol? At the prison. To like make another copy of him? But why would there be a copy here? That makes no sense. Unless like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I. Oh my gosh. I don't fucking know. But hopefully all of these questions that are racking through my mind. Will be answered in the next episode. So, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of East Nine Monster Knox. If you did and like the mindfuck that's going on right now, please be sure to subscribe and be sure to like and you know leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Well, actually, I already said that, but uh, my mind is going crazy right now. And I promise you guys that this theory will be around for the next episode. As always, guys. Fare thee well.